Om Namah Shivaya. Friends, today I am going to talk to you about temple vastu and symbologies. Okay, these symbols, these peculiar symbols like the conch, the Om, the Shri, Swastik, Trishul, Kalas, Lotus Flower. Okay. And this is Sudharshana Chakra, okay. Peacocks, the gatekeepers, okay. This is a peculiar, uh, you know, these are you will commonly find in Indian traditional temple vastu, these symbols, okay. And I will step by step show you how what, what are what is the significance of this symbol, okay. First of all, is the conch, okay, the shank. From the conch, there emerges a holy sound called the Anahad Nad, okay, the omnipresent sound, okay. In various religious scriptures, they talk about this sound. In Sikhism, they talk about Aad such, Jugad such, Abhi such, Obi such, Nanik OCB such, okay. And Hindu mythology, Hindu scriptures also talk about like when uh, there was nothing, there was just sound. From sound emerged energy. Okay, this prano, om. This was the first syllable. Okay, om, which emerged in the universe. Okay, all the animals, cow, okay, dogs, any animals or even human being, for the first time, whichever is the sound that comes from the mouth is nothing but om. Okay. Om represents Lord Shankar, Lord Shiv, okay, who is the basis of Sanatan Dharma, okay. Then we come to Sri, okay. Sri Asyate Lakshmi Bahu Patradhyam, okay. Sri means not only riches, not only wealth, okay. Sri is a Shakti, Sri is a Tattva, okay, of preservance, okay. The Tattva that nourishes us, that flourishes us, okay, that takes care of us. When we are in the mother's womb, when we are in the form of fetus, through some magical mechanism, we get the nutrition in the womb of the mother. Okay, so this is the Shri Tattva. Then this is the swastik, which symbolizes, it shows four directions and four Purushartha. Dharma, Artha, Kam, Moksha. All these elements are complementary to each other. Okay. Dharm, Arth, Kaam, Moksh and this is the Trishul, okay? It symbolizes the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwar, okay? This is Kalash, it is the symbolism of Varuna Devta, okay? More than 70% of this earth, uh, not even 70, more than 90% of this earth is made up of waters and oceans, okay? The Varuna Devta, when Samudra Manthan, the the Kritya of Samandha, Samudra Manthan took place. This was the first thing, Amrut Kalash, which came out of the Samudra Manthan. And this is the lotus flower, okay? It represents the Sahastra Chakra at the top of our head. Okay, and one more interesting thing, these two symbols everywhere and anywhere you will find together, okay? There are the 12 Adityas of the Surya Devata. One represents the Mitra other represents the Varuna Devata. Lotus symbol is the symbol of Mitra and Varun uh, symbol is the symbol of this Kalash. Okay. Moreover, Sudharsan Chakra. Okay. If you see Lord Vishnu's Sudharsan Chakra, it is in the form of uh, like it is an ellipsoid and it symbolizes the universe. Okay. Lord Vishnu is the like the nature in which the planets orbit around the sun is exactly similar to this Sudharshan Chakra, okay? Shanta Karam Bhujakshayanam Padmana Bham Suresham Vishwadaram Gaganasrucham Mega Varanam Subhangam Lakshmi Kantam Kamalanam Yogirde Dhyanagamyam Vande Vishnum Bhavayahara Sarvalok Ekanatham Moreover, you see there are two peacocks, okay? Peacock is the symbolism of piousness, Pavitrita, okay? Just by mirroring the uh, shedding tear drops the the female of peacock 
conceives okay so they are the symbolism of pavitrata okay piousness and is also auspicious to keep pick of feather at the door entry of your house moreover we see the gatekeepers often uh, they are the symbolism of jaya and vijaya okay and moreover you see lotus flower and if i take a moment to show you at the entry of the temple there are elephants there are elephants and obviously there are statues but um, in the previous days they used to have temple elephants also okay elephant is a symbolism of planet jupiter okay it and jupiter is the akash tatva it shows uh, unmeasurable expansion okay so this is the theme of temple vastu temple architect in most of the indian temples so whatever we see around us the symbolisms from ancient days they carry a message only we should have a eye of understanding for these symbols and messages